Our message tonight is centered around the youth, mm -hmm. the young people of today. Mm -hmm. It is a dedication, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. But I would like to call your attention to the sixth chapter, the book of St. John. We we'll began reading at the fifth verse, the book of St. John, the sixth chapter, when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Well, <laughs> Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. Well, one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, there's a lad here which has five barley loaves yeah. and two small fishes, but what are they among so many. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Mm -hmm. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in the number about 5,000. Yeah. And Jesus took the, took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were sat down, uh -huh. and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. Yeah. Notice this 14th verse. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is our truth, that prophet that should come into the world. Yes. Uh -huh. On the behalf of the young people, the youth of today, and those who will pray with us, our message, what the Lord can do with a little. Uh -huh. What the Lord can do with a little. We're living in a sick world. We're living in a hungry world. We're living in a world where some are saying that the youth are the young people are the order of the day. Yes, well, I know. I know. This world is hungry. Yeah. And there's one thing about a hungry group of people. The solution, first of all, they need to eat. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jesus had a method and he still has a method. Yes. Whatever situation confronted Jesus, mm -hmm. he dealt with it right. in the proper manner. Yes. Yes, that's right, sir. If Jesus met a sick man, he healed him. Yes. Yes. Don't up. Don't up. He took care of first things first. Yes. Yes. That's right, that's right. If Jesus met a hungry man, he fed. Well, yes. Yes. We want you to know tonight that we're living in a hungry world. It's one thing about a man that works daily. Everybody understands that in order to get a full day's work out of that man, it is necessary that the man eat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. The employers understand that the employees have to eat. Yes, yeah. right. oh, yeah. For in their working programs, they have scheduled lunch hours. Yeah. Yeah. And it's something about eating that makes the difference in giving a full day's work. Yeah. 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 Coming from the rural, I recall my father working on the farm realized that the animals that he worked yeah. needed to eat. Yeah. Yeah. 
It was something about the muse that would make them give a better day's work once they had eaten. Isn't that right? Our message tonight says what the Lord can do with a little. The Lord can take little things and make big things. The Lord can take a little and do much with it. The Lord can even go farther than that. The Lord can take nothing and make something out of it. The Lord can take nobody and make somebody. Isn't that right? But I want you to notice one thing, young people and everybody. I want you to notice one thing in the message tonight. I want you to notice that the Lord created everybody and he left everybody with something. I want you to pinpoint that. The Lord didn't leave anybody without having anything or without having nothing. Everybody the Lord made, he left them with something. I want us to remember that. We notice as we look at the text tonight, Jesus is faced with a group of hungry people. And the way Jesus solved the problem, he fed them. And Jesus used his miraculous power. The Lord is a miracle performing God. And he is performing miracles today. But the question is, brother preacher, what is a miracle? A miracle is something that is beyond human understanding. You see, a human being cannot comprehend a miracle. And that is exactly the way the Lord proves himself. You see, you cannot understand the Lord in a test tube. You cannot understand the Lord in a laboratory. The Lord is a miraculous Jesus. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And we notice a miraculous Jesus during the time of our text is standing before a group of hungry people. Yes. And he asked one of his followers, Philip, said, Philip, when shall we buy bread that these may eat? Yes. Now Jesus knew all the time what he was going to do. Yes. But a lot of times the Lord just like to see how we are thinking. Yes. Yes. Philip said, Master, I just don't know because, you see, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient that all of these may eat. Now, we might be able to feed some of them, but I don't see how we can feed all of them. But he was overlooking something. He, he was overlooking the fact that the Lord did leave something and that the Lord could take a little and do much with it. And I want you to pinpoint another word here. This word, lesser, or mm-hmm. uh, nobody. Mm-hmm. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was standing somewhere around that day, and we want to consider him as a lesser. Mm-hmm. Consider him, pinpoint this, as a lesser. Yep. And sometimes in our congregation, It takes the lesser to make other people understand. Sometimes it takes a nobody to make a somebody understand. This lesser here, no doubt he had to hold up his hand to get permission to speak. Or the message was not directed at him, but... I can hear him say, Master, you didn't ask me, but I I want you to know that we do have a symptom of food here. I don't know how we're going to feed all of the people, but I just want you to know that there is a symptom of food in the crowd. He said, there's a lad here which has five barley loaves and two 
small fishes. Yeah, mm-hmm. hello. I know this is not much, but I just want you to know that we do have something. Yeah. Yeah. I stopped by tonight to tell you that the Lord is still waiting on someone yeah. right now yeah. to admit that you do have something. Yeah. 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 Oh, what the Lord could do if we would just only admit, yeah. Lord, I know I don't have a new automobile. I know I don't have a new home, but I just want you to know I'm thankful that I do have something. And you see, if you will take that something that you have and put it into the hands of the Lord, the Lord can do much with it. So therefore, young people, I don't think any young person or old person should bear in your mind that I'm in a certain group. Well, I'm in the minority group. Well, and I cannot compete on. with other groups. Yes, All you need to understand that the Lord did leave you yes. with something. Yes, yes, Isn't that right? Yes, right? I see too many people who feel sorry for themselves. Yes, and yes, well, because of the color of my skin, yes, I'm not able to do this. Yes, But if I could just get the Christians and all who will tonight to understand that the Lord gave you something. Isn't that right? right. right. Do not know, as we go farther into the message tonight, Mm -hmm. all down through history, we can look and see where the Lord has taken that something and has done much with it. You might remember the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, didn't have much, didn't even have royal blood. But all of a sudden, they realized that they did have something. And the Lord blessed them for admitting that they had something. Isn't that right? Moses didn't have much. When he was standing at the Red Sea with a group of mumbling and grumbling people behind him. But the Lord had to remind him that day that he did have a rod in his hand. Isn't that right? David, the little shepherd boy, didn't have much. But he realized that he did have something. He had a slain in one hand and God in his heart. And then he believed that the Lord could take a little and do much with it. Not only in the Bible days, but the Lord is performing miracles right now. Some of you might recall a few years ago as I go on to remind you that the Lord is still performing miracles. You might recall, I believe it was in Vietnam. A soldier was wounded over there. And it is said that they gave the soldier up for dead. The doctors had pronounced him dead. And they took him on off to be embalmed. And while the embalmers were taking care of their job, somebody said that they discovered a symptom of life. They called back and definitely they wanted an explanation. Usually when that many doctors pronounce someone dead, he's dead anyhow. But the officers wanted an explanation And the only explanation they could give, they said, well, you know, traveling over the rough roads, the body was shaken to the extent that the heart started back to beat. But I told you a few moments ago to pinpoint that lesser. It's always a lesser on the scene. It was a young soldier there that day that we have to consider, consider as a lesser. Well, he didn't have no bars on his shoulder. Did not have many stripes on his sleeve. Well, 
But he realized that day that he did have something. And an article came out in a newspaper. Some of you all might remember it. He said, I don't care what the doctor said. Said a group of friends and myself prayed for my friend who was wounded all night long. And I'm going to have to say that the Lord raised him up. Did you not know the Lord is still able to raise the dead? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And, uh, and I believe if all of us here tonight would only look back over our past lives, yes, we too can recall where the Lord has taken a little yes, sir. and done much with it. Yes, sir. We too can recall where the Lord has performed a miracle for us. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm glad tonight well, that the Lord has enabled oh, me yes, to remember how he has blessed me. Yeah. When I was lying down on my bed of affliction, yes, sir. it was nobody but the Lord who gave me back my strength. Yeah. When the doctors couldn't do me no good, yeah. the Lord gave me back my strength. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, I never will forget when we were back home in school. Well. I recall the elementary school days. Yes, well. And I told you to pinpoint a lesson. Well. It was a young man in school yes, sir. where I came up. Well. He was always considered as a laughing stock. Well. Yeah. And uh, this young man kept a testament in his pocket every day. And he was considered as a slow learner. And other boys and girls would make fun of him. And uh, I recall when we would go out for play periods, this young man was so slow until he had to stay in to try to keep up. And uh, his mother was the only one available to support him. And uh, she would do day's work while he was trying to go to school. But every day he would read from a little boy, he would read this testament. And uh, and I never will uh, forget uh, doing the junior and senior prom. He did not have the right garment to wear. But he always remembered that he did have the testament in his pocket. And uh, and I recall also once we had graduated from high school and uh, went on off to college trying to further our education. And uh, this young man did not have a suitcase. a uh, proper bag to carry his clothes yeah. in. But uh, he walked on play, the college campus that day yeah. with an old white bag. Yeah. And uh, he was not able to go home during the holiday. Yeah. He would stay on the campus yeah. and work all day long. Yeah. And uh, you know, out of the four years that this young man was there on the college campus. Yeah. The Lord did bless him. Yes. Yes, sir. He was an honor student. Yes. And, uh, and I was back to there the other day, and uh, the same school yes, has already given him a yes, job sir. and planned for him to go off to do graduate work. Well. But uh, as I look back, and uh, call upon some of those boys and girls who came up with it. Some of them have lost their lives. And uh, some of them have already gone to the penitentiary. And uh, some of them have already become dope addicts. And, uh, but here's a young man that understood that the Lord gave him something. Oh, Lord, here's a young man that understood that the Lord didn't leave him in the world without giving him something. And, uh, he took that something that he had and put it into the hand of the Lord. And the Lord 
did bless him. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. And not only that, but young people, I would like to tell you that wherever you are, yes. whatever your aim is in life, yes. just remember that the Lord did give you something. Yes. Oh, isn't that right? Yes. And the Lord can take a little and do much yes, with it tonight. Yes. 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 And not only that, yes. but uh, I look back in my own life, yes. and I recall when we were coming up, yes. my old father, yes. if you all excuse me tonight, yes. I would just yes. like to look back in his life. My father was passed in a church, yes. or passed in several churches in the rural, yes. and uh, we were not able to go to the barber shop right. like other boys and girls. Yeah, and, uh, but I stopped by to tell you, I remember one day my father came home and uh, he told my mother, yeah. said, you know the Lord huh? called me to preach thy word. Yeah. But you know, working all the week long on the yeah. farm and trying to preach during the weekend, well, it makes it mighty difficult. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never will forget yeah. that day he came home. He said, I'm going to stretch out yeah. on God's word. Well, yeah. He realized that the Lord gave him no. something. No. And I never will forget. My mother could not understand. My mother couldn't understand how he could take care of family talking about preaching God's word. But oh Lord, he turned the mules loose that day. Yeah, he picked up his Bible and went on and started preaching God's word. It wasn't very long before we had given a man his farm bag. It wasn't very long before we had started riding in our own automobile. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to tell you tonight, the Lord can't do much with just a little. Oh, Lord, I look at my own self. I know the Lord can put clothes on your bag. Yeah, I know the Lord can put shoes on your feet. I know the Lord will give you somewhere to lay your head. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. All you got to do is just try. I want to have you ever try. Won't he lift up your bed? Won't he open up clothes door? Oh, yeah. Sometimes when the people don't want to hear you, preach in the church house. I dare you to try to love. I dare you to try to love. The reason I know what he'll do, I've already tried. I tried to love. I tried to love. I want to have you ever try to I know he's all right. I know he'll be a mother. Oh, his mother's daughter. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know he'll walk with you. I know he'll talk with you. I know he's all right. The Lord's been good to me. The Lord's been good. Sleep with me last night. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Just trying. I dare to try. I dare to try. I dare to try. I dare to try. Yes, sir. I dare to try. Yes, sir.
Yeah. And uh, sometimes I get up by myself. Yeah. And I just try calling the Lord. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I didn't have anything. A country boy didn't have anything. 